Sahalad 2019 press conference. Uh, it's going to be a great one, and uh, we, are, we have the honor of actually unveiling the list of uh, nominations for this year in uh, each respective category. But right here on uh, the high table, I have the honor of just introducing them real quick. On my left, I'll start off with Mr. X Miles right here. I mean, you already know him to be quite a vibrant head and veteran in the Gambian music scene. And as well as uh, participating in making sure that this award is quite successful year. And uh, this far, it's been, uh, we're getting to the fourth edition, which is remarkable so far. We know that we've not had award shows in Gambia that, has been, that have been this consistent. And to have such is, is quite um, is, is a remarkable. Somewhere along the line, we will be hearing that ah, the mom Dan had. We will be looking into other things, but it's 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 the to have the fourth edition. With her, that sister Salinjai. We call her. We, I call her Mrs. Cody. Yeah, so she will. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, this might be new. Uh, we've never had a press conference, but um, as the years goes by, uh, we are learning, we are improving on everything that we are doing concerning the Wasahalat show. So um, this year, there is the plan to unveil the categories, uh, the nominees uh, through a press, press conference by involving everyone, all the media houses. Um, just an overview of the Wasahalat Awards. It started in 2015, inspired by the radio show, which was created in 2013. And um, we are getting on to the fourth edition, which is next week, Saturday, 26th of January, 2016, at Keraba Beach Hotel. Um, specifically, uh, we've had a couple of changes this year. We've had um, a new category added, and... Um, You'll be communicating with the team on some of the criteria we use on uh, choosing the nominees. They'll talk to you about the, um, specifically the sports category, sports personality, the activism, and uh, the people's choice, which is the new category added. Details of the event, you already know the date and time. Uh, tickets will be announced later. and. Uh, sale points. So right now, I'll hand over the mic to X Miles to go further on the categories. And I, I just want to say welcome to everyone once again. Um, and we are happy that uh, all the various media houses are here to actually give a push to this. Um, it's, it's very important, the fact that aside from this award and the fact that there's this press conference going on, the importance of having the media in a music industry because this is what basically propels the music industry so people get to know about what's going on. Sometimes I see things happen and I'm, I'm just wondering, man, we should have had like maybe more bloggers and, and, and maybe, you know, just maybe from the TV show that they watch and they could basically talk about it and then that would interest the audience, like potential audience to actually maybe check out the next episode of that particular um, um, event or, 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 or show or whatever it is. And then you also have you guys from the media houses, you know, who have like a big following and some of the things that you write about will just get directly to the people, some of whom are not interested in this music industry because for one way or another, they kind of see it with a different eye. And frankly, maybe when you guys that are in you know, these formal media houses write about it, I guess it kind of also gives it a, a formal uh, look 
to be honest, you know. So your importance in this, you know, cannot be underestimated, you know, and we are happy that everyone is here and we are also happy that whatever the results from this press conference uh, is, you know, you guys will go out and disseminate it and then whatever it is, good or bad, I think it's publicity at the end of the day. So um, we appreciate it. So um, the categories uh, for this year, I, I bet we have already seen that on social media. And um, the reason we are here today, we all know, is to unveil the nominees in each different category. That, uh, so me and my sister Chari here will be doing that. So um, we will maybe take it from the bottom because, I mean, we all know the most important category. <laughs> maybe not the most important, but the one category that everybody wants to be on and wants to win that usually comes with a nice, you know, <laughs> attachment to it, yes, yes. you know. So uh, we'll, we'll end with that, which is Artist of the Year. So we'll start from the bottom. We, uh, we have, like, categories um, great, so we have them. A new category added. This is People's Choice Award. This award, like, it, like the name says, People's Choice, would not go through the commission, the board, for uh, 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 verification or, you know, just maybe look at if the votes are, are, are pointing in a certain way or whatever. This is totally going to be con uh, um, decided by the voting public. And um, you may ask, what is the difference between People's Choice Award and Artist of the Year? So maybe even, even before we get to that, um, let's just say People's Choice Award would have to be about the likability, the personality of the artist, their public relations, you know, just basically what makes them a cut different from everybody else. So that's, that's pretty much what we're looking at. So, I mean, Danny might be the artist that I vibe to, that I love when it comes to his music, but when it comes to his personality, he might not be number one for me. So pretty much what, what this is aimed at is giving these artists also a sense of responsibility. So they understand that I'm, it's not just about my music, it's about my personality as well, because people see me and they look up to me, and I have to be the best example I can be. So that's why we have People's Choice Award, and it's gonna be purely decided by votes. No commission involved, nothing else. Um, so do I go ahead and say who we have for this? Um, so there was a poll on social media, and then the top two that we have in this, that's who everybody else is going to vote for. The top two here uh, would be Esty and Jizzle for People's Choice Awards. Esty and Jizzle. And then we have the next category, which is Artivism Award. This one we give out to artists who have been involved in activism, who have used their music to pretty much change a situation socially, politically, whatever it is who is not just thinking about, okay, let me make some beautiful music that the people are going to enjoy. But besides that, they have a very relevant message for the community in which they live in and for the nation at large. So that's why um, we have this award. Uh, it started out uh, two years ago, yes. yeah? So, and then we have it. We are, we're still keeping on giving it to artists so, so that they also understand their social responsibility and the fact that some of their music has to be socially relevant, politically relevant to the people. About the consciousness, a lot of people talk about that. So um, this year it goes to our bling. So um, she has been involved with a lot of, um, engaged with a lot of social work, you know, with uh, the UN agencies and other NGOs as well. And, and most of her lyricism is about, you know, empowering the girl child and whatnot. You know, so definitely she is deserved of this award, and this year it will go to her. Um, the next one is Lifetime Achievement Award. This is given to people who have, over a long period of time, contributed immensely to the, to the, uh, uh, the development of local music, and in one way or another, have, you can see them as icons in the music industry, and it has been already given out to Osu Njai Senor, you know, of uh, Super Eagles fame. Of course, he did Fata Leku in the late 90s, and a lot of us are familiar with his music. 
Uh, another recipient of, of this award is also the late Musa Afi Yangam. Um, of course, we all know his exploits with the Gelewar band and with him as a, uh, uh, as, a, as a solo artist as well. And of course, with him being a, 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 tr a true definition of what a Senegambian is, you know, we all know him and his uh, different colored shoes and the different colored socks and whatnot. I mean, he always fought for that with his music. Um, also, last year, it got given to Demba Konta. Um, some of us might be young. I mean, some of you, I'm not that young. You know, like uh, in the early 90s, he was the craze. And I think so far, he's the only artist, Gambian artist, who has um, managed to break through in Gambia whilst not being in Gambia. Like, become the buzz, like everybody and everywhere, your music is everywhere, people jam into it. And, you know, um, in the 90s, he did that with his album, which, of course, was produced by two of Jamaica's top uh, producers, Sly and Robbie. Uh, this is early 90s. I, I can't remember the specific year, or late 80s, but I, I know I was a kid jamming to his stuff. Everybody was jamming to his music. So he received that last year. And this year, uh, we have none other than the Kora Maestro, Jaliba Kuyate. Um, he is going to be the recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award. His music has been with us. His, I mean, a lot of us, you know, just grew up with his music. So, I mean, his importance in the music industry, you know, uh, is, is, is really humongous. You know, so he will be the recipient of um, the Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, the next one, Sports Personality of the Year. Uh, this category was introduced last year. And the winner was Steve Trawale, Babukar Steve Trawale. Uh, he plays in China. And this year we have um, five nominees, very diverse. I, I guess last year was maybe not so diverse, but you know. Um, we have the national team captain who plays uh, for FC Zurich, uh, Nda Pamodu Jan. And we have Leket. Uh, he's been an undefeated, well, now defeated champion for six years. Leket Bubara, he's a wrestler. Um, and we all know how big wrestling is nowadays. Um, Adam Ajame, who used to play for Gambia Armed Forces and now uh, applies his trade in Tunisia. You know, uh, such a very fast rise from local hero to now international, now plays for the national squad as well. Um, and also Hoyan Tan, a wrestler who ended Leket's six-year reign. And also we have Babu Karsane, who won the uh, league title with, uh, uh, in Denmark and now has secured a transfer to Belgium. Uh, and, and, and his transfer fee was the biggest, the highest ever paid for a defender in the Belgian league. So, I mean, these people are the nominees. So I'll go through their names once again. Pamodu Jain, Leket Bubara, Adam Ajame, Hoyantan, and Babu Karsane. These are the nominees for Sports Personality of the Year. Thank you very much. I'll hand it over to Chari here, and then she will give us the rest. All right, good afternoon, and thank you for showing up. Um, now, I would like to start with rap and hip hop artist of the year. Um, this year we have ST, our bling, Ojilo, Viper, and Mass Murder. Um, reggae dance all of the year, reggae dance all artist of the year, sorry. Um, Royal Messenger, ha Mahadi Hama, Sophia, A2, and Sparkling Black. Um, Afrofusion Artists of the Year. We have Nobles, Jizzle, Yafa, Team Kunda, and Oboy and Gambian Child. New Artists of the Year goes to, okay. Nominees are actually <laughs> Big Rose. Sorry, I know, right? <laughs> Big Rose, YD, um, Sihuyafa, Attack, and Chronic Bob. Foreign based artists of the year Benjamin, Big C, Gambino, Dr. Oluganda, and Limbo. Event of the year Philip Pinchami by Nobles, um, Big Noise, Attack, The Next Big Thing, Jizzul. Saluto, ST, and Too Much Sauce, Team Kunda. Media Personality of the Year, Dells, DJ Kanu, Awagai, Senator, and by Ibrahim Cham. And, uh, okay. 
Video Director of the Year, Sheikh Tijan STS Pictures, Gando Iris Studios, Pamatar Wage Wax Media. Music Producer of the Year, J Life Music Triple J, Uche Made It, Stylist, Minka Records, and What Now. Best Collaboration of the Year, Badu Jack, Attack, featuring Bai Babu. Dorsi Dara Hussein featuring Chanta. Jalika Jizul featuring Hussein. Najarabi Nobles featuring Jizul. And Bany Team Kunda featuring Bai Babu. Album of the Year Jibril by G. Saluto ST. The Next Big Thing by Jizul. Hello World by Nobles and Better Days from Royal Messenger. Music video of the year, Max Mondo Ojilo, Musanam, Nobles, Chor Mama ST, Dees Viper featuring Yafa, Manigas, Jizo. Song of the year goes to. Not <laughs> 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 guy, guy like Paul. No, the, 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 I know, right? But guy, I'm not Hollywood. I'm not going to manage it because it's much awaited. So, okay, Song of the Year, Najarabi, Nobles featuring Jizzle, Jalika, Jizzle featuring Hussein, Fuaria, ST, Mosanam, Nobles, and New Defarco by Big Fa. Artist of the Year, Artist of the Year, ST, Jizzle, Nobles, Big Fa, and T Small Suso. Yes, yeah, so um, these are the nominees for uh, 2018. And um, just one little thing we would like to say. I, I don't know, I know, because some people might already be streaming or broadcasting this. Uh, I'm not particularly sure. Uh, one thing, however, is that the committee hasn't sent letters to uh, any of the, the nominees yes. yet. So I don't know at this point. It's, it's, it's up to you, but we would like to request that maybe we wait, say, till when, sister, before we, we publish this? If it is not being published already? Four. Four, four p.m. today. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. To be published. Um, 17. Artists. Artivism Award. We don't want to publish it. If we can, if we can just maybe blot that one out. That's Artist Artivism Award. That's the one that goes to our bling. If yeah, we could please just request that 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 one will not should not be published. And then, if you're okay with it, we would like to wait till 4 p.m. today before we publish anything. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, um, of course, I know everyone is itching to yes. ask a question, and um, you know, it's yeah. over to you. Right. Yeah, I just wanted to add that um, the online votings will start today, um, probably around five after uh, sending the letters to the nominees. Um, it's been set up, and I've just been notified that it's all done. So you can add that maybe to your publications. Yeah, the, um, the link will be shared, but it's wasahalat.com slash pools. Wasahalat.com slash pools. The website will be officially launched on the day of the awards, so for now we'll just use it um, for voting. Yeah. I know it's one line, one vote, or one computer, one vote, but um, I will answer the first one. Now, uh, regarding, regarding how the nominees are selected, of course, the first phase is the public phase. It goes to the public on social media definitely, and then they will nominate whoever, you know? Because what this does as well is, is what gives you an idea of what the people are interested in, who are they following. And of course, like you said, there might be, I might just nominate my homeboy because he's my homeboy, right? But then when it comes down to the committee phase, of course you wanted to know if there's a committee. Yes, there is. There is a committee, and it's an odd committee. By odd, I mean if we were to vote, there's not going to be any tie because it's an odd number. So when it comes to the committee, we have a criteria for each and every category. Yes. 
Now, if people are nominated, and based on everybody in the committee has a fair understanding of the music industry as at now, right? So our opinions differ. Everything differs about the people in the committee. So even that is a debate, you know? So when we get whatever it is that we have from the public, then the committee sits down, looks at that, and also looks if there are any oversights. Because some people, like you said, might not have that representation on social media. But then it is our job to make sure that everybody who is worthy of being nominated is on that list. Then we go through the criteria for each category, like, OK, so this person, does that person you know, uh, qualify due to um, requirements in the criteria? If that person does, let's say we have 10 people who already qualify for a particular career, uh, I mean category. Then we have to shortlist that to five. So with that, we have to use our expertise in the music industry to debate first and agree on who the top five of that 10 are. So when we get that top five, that's who the nominees are. So that's why I keep telling the artists, if you are nominated for any category, you know what that means? That means you are top five in that category. And you should be happy about it in a country that has probably thousands of musicians and groups. So if you are nominated, already you are a winner because that means you are top five in that category. So that's basically what it is about. So from the public, to break it down, public, down to the committee, and then we present, uh, then, then we have the list. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It starts with the public because this is what always gives you an idea of what's trending out there, what the people are looking at, you know, what they're interested in, who they're following, and that sort of thing. Then when it comes to us, we look at that. Also, we look at if there are any oversights. Then when we compile what we have, if it is above you know, what we require, then we'll have to shortlist it to five. And um, let me just add, say for video director of the year, you, you have noticed it's only three directors this year. That's also because we don't just want to fulfill the five just because. Because somebody might not have done enough to you know, uh, be qualified you know, as per the criteria. So we would just go with whoever fits the bill. Question number two, so, yeah. sister. That's why we have a team, we have judges. It's not only based on voting. To figure out the winner, it's not only based on voting. Judges have a stake, a certain percentage, and winners as, um, uh, voters as well. Now, with the voting, you'll have to understand um, it's in partnership with uh, Afrocell, a GSM company, and they are doing business. So the more votes they get, because we have an agreement with them. So it, it's commercialized on that part. So the more votes they get, the more for them. It's for their own interest anyway. And um, I think it's an investment too, for an artist to buy credit for his friends, his fans to, to vote for them. Yeah, I think that's an investment. And it shows, it shows if I have more fans than you do. Yeah, because I think that counts too. Because if you have more fans, when I have, a, if I have, a, when I have an event, you'll come to the event, isn't it? But if you don't have any votes, You'll be surprised to know uh, previous years there are artists that don't even have one vote. Yeah. Master <laughs> Foot. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. All the votes will be compiled. Every vote counts. Yeah, every vote counts. From the online votes to the SMS votes, everything. Yeah, I, I was just going to ask you maybe mm -hmm. next time you, you learn of these things to a journalist, why don't you break the story? Yes, we'd love to know. Oh, yeah. We'd love to know the details. We'd we'll love to know the details. Who said it? What category was the argument on? Yeah, exactly. Do you understand? Because so let, let's 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 get to let's get let's get to here because if you tell us just I have no all these things. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is where, if you guys were here, I'm confused. I don't know what, what's going on. Thank you, Master. We we'll appreciate that. Uh, we, we'll take another qu question. Yes, ma'am. Okay. From Gambia Talent, right? Yes. Yes. And then my question is like, we've seen you, your logo, and then it goes like the best thing. What's the halal? But in this 2019, we've seen what's the halal? Why is the music on each other? 
Um, okay, sister. So observant. I didn't even nice. see that. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Um, I talked about the specific changes um, that we're doing this year. For the logo part and the name, we're working on a rebranding process. Um, hopefully next year you might be seeing something different because next year will be the fifth uh, edition. So every year we're trying to do something or add something new and because of the sports uh, part, that's why the music is being left out this time. But we're working on something with the team. Hopefully next year you might see a different um, hashtag. Okay, my other question is, at Scarlet Dance, mm -hmm. uh, we've seen that you claim to be the Gambia's most consistent award. Yes. What do you mean by that? Okay, um, actually... Isn't that true? It, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to claim it again, <laughs> because it's the only award show ever in the history of Gambia to go all the way to the fourth edition. Every other award show stops at first or second. Music award. Yeah, music award. Because the yeah, there are other award shows at ten years and stuff. So it's like the Jamaican most consistent music award. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, yes. From G R T S. Okay, so regarding the, the, the criteria for that, um, I would say we don't say what our criteria is. You know, every award show just hugs that closely, mm -hmm. and then you don't really know, but to be honest, we do, we, we really do. We have, an, we have a criteria for every award. Now, um, regarding the sports, like you said, I mean, it's not like we're infallible or whatever. You know, I mean, there might be an omission or something or whatever it is that is not to our knowledge. But what we try to do is, um, because especially with the sport, we had like a long list of, of people and their special achievements and with consultation from people that are involved in, in sports as well, you know, sport journalism to be honest, you know, and then with that we had to look at every individual achievement, like okay, so this is where you were and this is what 2018 has, has given you basically, you know, so I mean, of course, not disputing the fact that whoever you have thought of should have been in there, should be in there, but um, this, is, this is what we eventually came up with. You know, To be honest, I think the committee debated on the sports much more than the other, other ones as well, you know? Because, yeah. Well, he, he was, but eventually, you know, again, with the diversification as well, so you would, you would tend to, you know, try to see exactly, because if, if we're going to look at achievement, everything achievement-wise, I think we're probably going to be looking at the football more because that they have more attention and everything, you know, so um, I, I, I hope that's satisfactory. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, so, so there was a second part? Yes. yes. The importance and... Okay. Um, I think an award show is important in every um, in every sector, not just even entertainment. But in this case, um, artists have been working really hard for a long time and never been um, complimented for their so then they just relax and go on to other professions. But with the award show, it, is, it has brought a change where you see artists working harder every day. Maybe they don't show it or they don't say it that I'm working hard for this, but they want to be uh, celebrated. They want to, to be recognized for something. They want, they want to hold something and be like, okay, I was giving this because I won the artist of the year. Or, okay, look for example, SD. 
He has won two plot of lands for winning Artists of the Year. That has never happened before. Yeah, because it's like um, you're being uh, complimented for your efforts and uh, giving you a chance to build a home, which if you were to do it on your own, maybe it will take him more years to come. The other thing is you asked about the changes. We've seen a lot of changes over the years, uh, for the past four years, I'll say, um, especially from events. I'll recommend them a lot from events and from the production, because uh, one of our criteria, which we don't even mention, but I'll just say this, one of our criteria for um, Song of the Year, it, yeah, I'm snitching. <laughs> it involves your song being an original uh, song, originally produced, not any um, downloaded bit. So artists work really hard, pay producers to have um, original bits. That's one thing. The other thing, look at their events. Compare their events from previous years to now. They are running away from a particular venue because they believe that's a small venue and they cannot, um, yeah. Now they are going to bigger venues and at the end of the day, you'll be awarded for having the best event or event of the year. So these are, these are just few of the changes the award is bringing, and we hope to bring more anyway. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, any last questions? I think one or two more questions. So I'll take one from, I read, from, the, from the gentleman. You're from Point, right? No. The Voice. All right, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, wh which, art which artists, because if, if you're going to mention that the artists on that category that have, that, yeah, so wh which of the artists is on the list that doesn't have a show or hasn't had a show in Europe yet? No, no, we want to hear, no, no, go ahead, go ahead, that's why we're here, that's why we're here. Yes, you need to defend your point. Can you name three afro manding artists that are really popping and relevant? Remember what you said, popping and relevant. Listen, is, do you think Broke is an afro manding artist? You got it wrong, because of the language you think is. No. Out of the lot that you have mentioned, I would take Jelly Madi. It's not particularly afro manding but I would maybe put it there, Buddy Bunker has con consciously evolved into an afro artist. But since Jalex, like you don't have, so what we did with all these different things like Mbala afro all of that, we fused them, I don't remember what year, into Afrofusion. Yes. So this involves everything that's African sounding. Mm -hmm. You know, it might have elements of hip hop or whatever it is. So at the end of the day, you don't, just award people for a particular genre mm -hmm. when you don't have a lot of artists in that genre, right? So if you have only two, you understand what I'm saying? So if you have more people involved in that genre, for instance, I think that works. Like Oh Boy and Gambian Child, I think to a light degree you could also classify them as afro manding artists. That's why they are in the Afrofusion Artists of the Year. You know, but again, you know, you might have 10 afro artists, but how many of them have been relevant and popping in that year? You understand what I'm saying? So um, we, just, we just put everything under Afrofusion. Right, so um, what was the other part of your question? The foreign foreign base. base. Yes. Again, we will not reveal the criteria, but what I can do for you is give you a rundown of what these guys have done, right? Benjamin has had shows including festivals. You know what it takes to perform at a festival in Europe? Major, maybe we should have even added Smalls here. <laughs> Jokes, but he's performed at festivals true, and stuff. True. And he spends a large part of the year outside. Big C has released videos, has been here, done shows. And just These are people trying to keep up with what's happening here. Remember, like I said, when I mentioned Demba Konta, I said he's the only artist to have made it in Gambia while he's not living in Gambia. The fans here, their attitude is, I see you, you're relevant. I don't see you. 
You're dead to me. Get out of here, you know? <laughs> That's why a lot of people who don't live here now don't have a lot of relevance. Now, Gambino has been on international platforms such as BBC a couple of times now. MTV with Bays. songs, MTV yeah. Bays and whatnot. Like, yes. okay, to the audience here, it's like, okay, so what is this guy doing? But they are playing on other platforms which agreeably are much bigger than what we have at home, True. right? So that recognition is what we're trying to give to them. You know, Dr. Oluganda released an album. I understand he's been in the UK doing a few things. China. You know, he's, he, he does a couple of shows. He's in China. China. Yeah, yes. China. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's in China. And, and the same goes for DJ Limbo as well. Yes. You know, I mean, they're they, they performing. And, and rightfully, like you said, we don't just want to give anyone just because. And to be honest, in some categories, you might have some people who work much harder, you know, who don't get nominated in a certain category. And then in another category, and I, I think it's all dynamics at the end of the day. True. Because True. you might have like eight hardworking artists for artists of the year, and you drop five. I, I, mean, I mean, you drop the three, right? And these three probably have shown better than the ones in another category, but that's why we call them categories. That's why you have this and that and that. So every category gets dealt with according to the progress made in that category. I, I hope I have communicated. You hope you answer, you, you, you've yeah? been given an answer. Thank you. All right, thank you. Um, I will take the lady. You're from which media house, please? Paradise. Paradise. All right, from Paradise TV. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you want to have something called DJ of the Year? Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool, you know? I think. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, would like the, to say something about the that. The first yeah. edition, um, we had. D, um, DJ yeah, or yeah. presenter of the year. But then, um, because we don't only have DJs on the radios. In fact, there's hardly a DJ that's playing gambian music. I think I only know one DJ, DJ, I mean a proper DJ that plays gambian music, that's DJ Kanu. All the others are presenters. So we decided to um, not just uh, let it be on radio, that's why we, uh, brought the media personality of the year. That's where the DJs, the presenters, that's where they come in. But Kanu, Kanu is there and he's a DJ. Or you want a separate category for them? Are you looking at like say DJs in every genre, every field? That's, that's an interesting point. Yeah. Let's, let's see how that happens. Okay, like DJs day. for not just Gambian music? Yeah. Oh, OK. okay. Yeah, because I, I, Yeah. Okay. So let, let, let's 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 move on. Paradise. To paradise, please. Good afternoon. afternoon. Yes, X. Upcoming Su support. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't know if support is the word here because just that they have something to look up to, you know, I think that in, that in itself is motivation enough. You know, the fact that you want to win five awards like SD or Bai Babu did back in the day, mm -hmm. and, and I guess you want to do that. And, and with stuff like winning a land, I think... That's, 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 that's mad motivation. I want to win the land too, mm -hmm. you know? True. But um, what this does is kind of separate the wheat from the chaff, mm -hmm. you know, so that people would also understand that this is, this, this particular group of artists have worked so hard and this is what their level is, mm -hmm. right? And they, these are the people who are not there would strive to be there. So basically, that's what it is about. I think it's more about motivation and reward, you know? So if they want to be there, they would realize that they have to work much harder than they're actually doing. So I guess that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, yes, yes, Oz, please. I think um, usually when people talk about support, they think about it in the context of giving somebody a token, like, I mean, you're talking about that, I But this is more like giving a, a, a platform. So it is for the artists to take advantage of the moment True. and do better to be part of 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, um, Chair. Sorry, uh, I would also like to add to that. Um, in the Gambia, we have been for a very long time um, referring to the music industry as the Faram, Munge, Munge, Dohangut, and things like that. And I think the uh, Wasahalat Awards um, is supporting because Nene Buiram di Janga do the Fanir support ko ko tete ti elohom, and I think uh, Wasahalat uh, Wasahalat Awards has done exactly that. Um, ti eloho artists tete len. At least artists, um, Gambian artists have something to work for. To lo ham the nyungse jie manya haf for the end of the year. Um, support pass out ngonyo jo hnit land wala recognize. Even if you're just nominated and you didn't win an award, even that is something. So I guess I guess that's support enough. All right, thank you very much. I hope that answered your question, ma'am. All right, thank you very much. Uh, yes, Gamba Talent. That's the last question from you, though. Okay, there are some people watching. Yes. They're asking questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So uh, remember, let, let's have sister uh, rem- answer. Remember, this is Wasahalat Awards. It has to be linked with entertainment, Gambian entertainment. Gambian entertainment, yeah. And the other one, uh, talking about, um, what did you end your point with about the SMS? You said, is it about putting more money into my pocket? Well, we, we pull out money from our pockets to make this event happen, so we definitely need money back into our pockets to survive. And, and, I, and I have to add, Mm-hmm. The business part of entertainment. Yeah. Like they show mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Show business. Mm-hmm. Right? So it needs revenue mm-hmm. to be able to survive. Just like any other job, mm-hmm. whatever it is that you do, you know you need revenue yeah. to keep it going. Mm-hmm. And entertainment mm-hmm. is one of the most expensive ventures. Right. Mm-hmm. And and yeah, we are in a country where people kind of look down on mm-hmm. They don't understand what entertainment is. Mm-hmm. And how much money can be made, or how much money can be lost by investing in entertainment? Mm-hmm. You know, so end of the day, I mean, the business side of it should always be taken care of. Otherwise, it's just show, show, yeah. show, 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 with nothing to show for. It, yeah, you know? definitely. So the business side has to be taken care of. Yeah. So if a million people that works, yeah, I think that definitely. Works, that works for the artists. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe I don't know, but something's mm-hmm. gonna happen. Yeah, definitely. I, I didn't want to say what I wanted to say before. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. And, and just, just to add, um, people need to understand, all these artists nominated, um, the media, and all the artists will have a plus one. All of them that are nominated are all coming in for free. So maybe they can do the math and see how much we lost, then have some sympathy for us first before talking about <laughs> the, the amount of money we, we, <laughs> we're putting into our pockets. All right, thank you. Thank you, sister. And uh, I think that, yes, sir. Oh, man. Observation, come on, man. <laughs> yes, all right. So, what, what? Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Fair point. Yeah, fair, 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 fair point. Okay, Chad, 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 will answer that. Definitely. I'm not and being. I know, right? Yeah. No, I'm not being biased. I, I was going to say I'm not being biased, and yes. I'm not going to be um, defensive here. But um, as Sister Njai said, it's it's Gambian entertainment. Strictly. Strictly okay. Gambian entertainment. Mm-hmm. Now we have uh, one of the nominees who is from QTV. And we have somebody who's DJ Kanu, who's from the radio. No, but like, like the print. The print. Yeah. print and online. Yeah. Print and okay. online. Okay, I guess. Okay. Uh, I guess. Okay. Huh? Okay, yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll look into that. Do you that, the entertainment? 
Do you, you know strictly entertain? Yeah, sure. <laughs> strictly Gambian? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I see a few. Oh, um, yeah, I see a few writers who write about Gambian entertainment, strictly Gambian. So I guess we'll have to look yeah, into we'll that for the next year, inshallah. What's the Halat Award? Yeah, so changes no, I mean, can be made. It's, it's, it's a very, very, yeah. very, yeah. very, very changes very can be made, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, How many fine? Everywhere. Go online, search for criteria on any music award, and you see if you will find it. Now, 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 here's the thing. Here's what we do. The artists should always try to elevate themselves, whatever it is they're into, mm -hmm. you know? So that way, like the ones that win these awards, they don't even know what it takes. Like, you understand what I'm saying? But they know that if they elevate their craft, if they elevate their, uh, their, their public profile, you know, their fans, like everything. I mean, of course you are eligible because you know that if I had the best show this year, if I had the best album this year, or the most popular song, or the best video, I'm definitely up there for nomination, right? So it's, it's about just trying to better yourself in whatever you're doing. True. So that way, people will recognize it because you could have everybody fulfill every aspect of every criteria, right? And still not make the cut. Why? Because others have done better than you, right? So I think the, the point here is, can you try to outdo everyone in what you're doing? Can you try to be the best reggae artist? When you are, then you know definitely, yeah, I am up there. I think all right. that's, that's all it takes. All right, thank so it's you. it's not even about re revealing specifics. <laughs> Okay, so just to, we, we want to say thank you so much, guys, for coming uh, to all the specific media houses that are here. Um, Sister Nja, I think there's this, we need to emphasize on the event time and date where it's happening as well. Just so if you're writing, because we, 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 want, we want Gambians to be on time first, uh, because an award show is, 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 is not a music concert. It's one thing for you to go to, a, to, to go to an event that's going to start by 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. in the morning. But the earlier people show up, the earlier we all can go home, which is very, very important. So this award actually is meant to start off by 8 o'clock. So red carpet starts by 7 o'clock. You know, the entire, I mean, everyone comes through. I mean, you, you, the, media, the, the media houses are there to cover um, the celebrities that are walking through as well. Uh, which is very important. It's been also one issue that we've had over the time, the, having the media houses come cover the red carpet. Yes. Because it's also important. I mean, it also, it, it's exposure for, um, for your, you know, uh, content for your media house. And to also see which artist is, you know, you, basically it's news for, for, for all your, 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 your media platforms. Uh, this year, we have, we have tickets that are also affordable. Uh, advanced tickets are $300. We have uh, regular tickets at the gate, that's $400. And VIP tickets are $750. This is happening on the 26th, like Sister Njai said, that's next weekend. Caraba Avenue, Caraba, excuse me, Caraba Beach Hotel, Caraba Beach Hotel, Jama Hall. Yes. Yeah. So, Uh, if you have the number of the contact person that invited you here, it's important that you be on time for Saturday next week to come over to cover the red carpet. Like we said, time is very valuable. It's, it's, it's key in the success of each award event because if you're coming late, you meet that everyone has walked through and they already sat. Well, sorry. Yes. I'm not cutting you off, but then most of the media you did. people <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do come in to enjoy, mm -hmm. and then after they'll just take it from our page, the winners, and then go and write the story. This year, we plan on not giving out a lot of tags to media, so maybe we'll just be giving out the people that are here for the press conference and our own media. Huh? Do we have uh, yes, that's why we have a paper going yes. around yeah. for their details. So please, um, maybe you, your name is on this piece and your of paper. emails, yeah. Email, Bila, you're being on it. Fuck now. Okay. Everyone's name is on it? Except the one. If your name is not on it, kindly write it down. Yeah, so we'll, we will give you a call um, when the tags are ready. 
and we hope you'll come on time to cover the event, not to come and enjoy, please. Just enjoy, but yeah. come and cover the event. <laughs> cover the event and then enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, on behalf of the entire table here, the committee, mm -hmm. I want to say thank you so much to the media houses for coming in. Right here we have The Point, The Voice, Paradise FM, The Gambian Talent TV, mm -hmm. PTV, GRTS. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to say thank you so much for coming to cover the Wat Sahala Award mm -hmm. Show 2019. Mm -hmm. Our have, sponsors? Uh, our sponsors, our major sponsors for this year mm -hmm. is uh, Afrisel, Atlas, Gam Housing, uh, Combo Real Estate. Oh, Combo, excuse me, yes. Combo Real has, uh, Estate, Dreams, mm -hmm. and uh, Brand Plus. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, alongside you, amazing media personalities that come from, mm -hmm. from your house and from your media houses and institutions. Um, we hope to see you next weekend on Saturday. And uh, any information, any, any, any questions that you may have along the line, please do not hesitate to contact any one of us for further information. Uh, yeah, the, the letters we sent, uh, contact and email is on it. Yes. And uh, like we said, letters will be sent to the nominees by four. Yes, so please four. give us some time till five, please. All right, so five o'clock <laughs> it is. Yeah, and the online votings will be open by five. For everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much on behalf of founder and the entire team. Uh, we wish you we wish you well. And we hope that the message that you send out there is quite a positive one. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you very much. Thank you.